today I want to show you how you can create the basic tessellation material in the Unreal Engine 4. So basically tessellation is here to create a much more realistic effect on our meshes and it really deforms the mesh. So it adds more triangles and then it deforms those triangles with our material. So it's like the parallax shader but just with an actual deforming triangle effect. So it's not just an effect that is on the mesh, it really deforms our triangles. And now let's start. First of all we need a diffuse texture, then a normal map, and of course a displacement map. You can easily generate them or download them from Google. Then do a right click onto the diffuse map and go to create new material. Double click onto the material and now just drag and drop the other textures into the material editor. Then connect the normal map with the normal. And down here you have to scroll down to the tessellation tab. And here D3, D11 tessellation mode, you have to choose either flat tessellation or P and triangle tessellation. The P and triangle tessellation give us a much more better effect, but of course it's not so good for the performance. So either you use the flat tessellation or the P and triangle tessellation. But as I said, it's not so good for the performance when you use the P and triangle. But I will choose, let's say, flat tessellation now. Then down here you can see the enable crack free displacement. I will leave that out now, but you have to enable this. But I will show you the effect when it doesn't enable it, how it will look like. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we need two multipliers. So press M and left mouse button, and another time M and left mouse button. Then we need two constant one vectors. So press one and left mouse button, and another time. And then up here at search, type in vertex, and then add a vertex normal VS. Okay. Now let's start. First of all, connect the displacement map with the A from the second multiply and one of the constant vectors with the B from the second multiply. Then connect the second multiply with the B from the first multiply and the vertex normal work position with the A from the first multiply. And the first multiply should be connected with word displacement. And the second constant one vector should be connected with tessellation multiplier. Now at the tessellation multiplier, you can choose how many triangles it should add to the mesh. So here we can type, let's say, 10. And up here you can choose how strong the tessellation should be. So for example I will type in, let's say, 100 now. And that's it. Now we've created a basic tessellation material. Now click on to apply. Drag and drop it onto your mesh. And wait a little bit. And now you can see, it has really deformed our mesh. So those parts here are really standing out from our mesh. And when we go into the wireframe mode, you can also see we have much more triangles now. But, as I said before, you have to enable the crack property because otherwise you will get those cracks down here. So let's just enable it. And then they should disappear. And now as you can see here, you can't see the cracks anymore. Now you know how to create a basic tessellation material. Thank you for watching and until next time.